What's going on guys? Kalach here. Welcome back to Southern Farming. Cotton Candy Farms. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, guys, you can see it right in front of us. We've got a new truck on the farm. New Dodge Ram 3500 Cummins. Dually flatbed. Oh, yes. We needed a new farm truck pretty badly. Um, you guys know we've been driving that for the uh, the F350. Is it F? No, it's an F450. That's what it is. It's the 450. It has the duels. But it's a box on the back of it. I wanted a true farm truck. Um, now, we used to have the 06 Chev with the flatbed uh, in previous previous games. This one here, we decided to go with something a little bit newer. The new Dodge. Yes, new Cummins. This has got the 6.7. I think it's a 6.7 in this one. The big Cummins. Yeah, perfect. Now, so the big reason I wanted this particular truck, or what we needed it for, was our pig farm has been going a little bit crazy lately. We're up to over, well over 200 pigs now, I think. I think we're like 212, 214, something along those lines. And I've been selling them off regularly, but uh, it's it's just too much. Too much is going on down there. We can only sell five at a time with that jaw skin. I think it's a jaw skin, right? The IT runner pack. Yeah. So we've updated this. We've got a new trailer for that. New livestock trailer. This here bad boy will hold 15 piggies. Perfect. I'll actually do a whole bunch of other animals too. It'll do everything, so... Uh, I think it's, I can't remember what the animals, how many it does for the rest, to be perfectly honest. But I know it does 15 pigs. So you would think that sheep would be very similar to that. And I think horses is uh, like 7, maybe? Oh, I can't remember. I know we had this on Felsbrand, but I can't remember anymore. But uh, anyways, it'll do 15 pigs. New Dodge Ram. Pretty happy on the farm today. You can see uh, we're back at the main ranch here. We've got, well, we've got a cotton harvester back there. Now, if you guys may have caught the live stream on DJ Goham's channel the other day... You saw a bit of a crazy type of cotton harvest go on. That there is not one of the crazy cotton harvesters that does 100 kilometers an hour while harvesting. That's a normal cotton harvester. We're going to leave it at that. But if you guys wanted to see what it's like to harvest at 100 kilometers an hour, go check out DJ Goham's channel. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, man. Anyways, uh, what do we got going on today? Well, I got some guys over in the field eh, somewhere in that direction. They're working on those sugar beets still. We're uh, taking, taking care of that. We didn't get it done yesterday. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. The guys didn't get it done yesterday. It was about half the field and we kind of cut everyone loose. Let's go over there and take a look. See how they're making do. It should be almost done by the time uh, we get there. I would think eh, we'll take a look. Anyway, so let's go take a look. Get on uh, over to the pig farm and see what we need to get done today. All right, let's pitter patter. Clutch simulations. It's like a unit going down the highway here. Um, it feels a little underpowered, actually, compared to the, the Ford we've been driving. That Ford has got so many horsepower. I think it's got a chipped engine in. This Dodge is just the standard 6.7. 6.7, right? 6.7. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it's a 6.7 in this. Anyways, this is... Uh, I do like the flat deck, though. I love having a flat deck truck on my farms. It just makes it more authentic. All right. So you can see we've got everyone up ahead here. They are working away on the old sugar beets. Uh, is he working? I hope he's still working. There we go. Good. Perfect. So this is the last, very last field of this harvest. And we've got some choices to make after this. Oh, he's almost full. Oh, that's going to be a pain. We're going to have to move stuff around. He's not going to get back. There's no way. Oh, yes. What a mess. <laughs> oh, man. Beat's going to be such a mess. All right. Let's, uh, let's pull in here. We'll give these guys a hand quickly. It looks like he's going to get stuck there anyways, and we're going to have to help him out anyways. So let's go give him a hand and get him flipped around. Wow, this thing is noisy. All right, let's uh, bring her around here. Get her unloaded, and we'll set somebody else back up. But, man, this thing is so noisy when it's fired up. All right. Now, we've got the IT Runner trailer now as well. This was... Uh, we were originally just kind of using this for animals. But we're also going to be using it for for um, various grains and such as well. Why is it? Ah, but this is the problem we always run into with this, is it's too high to try to dump it down. You guys might remember this from yesterday with the corn. Same problem happens with sugar beets. There we go. <laughs> so we'll dump a little bit in this one. We'll fill this one up if we can. It's just, if you look at the height difference there. So it's even more difficult with the trailer now. Ah, what a pain. Anyways. It is working. You just have to kind of fight to get it in there, that's all. Perfect. Alright, we'll set this guy back up. Let him keep on keeping on. 
Come on. Awesome. All right, there we go. Sugar beets. Love it. Fantastic. Uh, so we can leave this here. Well, you can see we've got, we still have the John Deere down here in the corner. We've been meaning to take this back to the shop, and we also have, oh, we got the Ford here as well. Actually, you know what? Let's do a little show and shine. What do you guys like best? Let's bring this around. I don't know. Yeah, so we got the 800 horsepower tuned with a limiter. So this truck is ridiculous for power and speed. Uh, let's see if we can pull it side by side here. How could you be... Oh, you're blocked by the harvester. We'll worry about that right now, too. Arch. All right. There we go. So they're both actually in the blue, which is nice. But uh, you got the Ford F-350. You've got the new Dodge 3500 Cummins. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Which one? Both look like trucks. Uh, let me go move this out of the way here. <laughs> Someone's going to be saying, I picked the John Deere in the comments. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we'll leave that there. Perfect. So I've got uh, the header for that harvester is still back here. This is that Elmer's uh, carrier as well, the Elmer's header trailer. It's, it's massive for the size of the header. I mean, look at this thing. It's huge. But I find that this particular header trailer is like the best one to use for me. I don't know what it is. It's the easiest for me to use. The headers don't usually come off of it. It makes the most sense. Anyways, let's head back over to the big farm here. We'll let this guy do his thing for a little bit. He's not going to get too far. It's uh, not a big tank on that like you heard me say last time. Let's spin this around. We'll get down to the pig farm here and uh, we're going to check on those piggies. But I think we've got like 215-ish, something along those lines. So... We've got a lot. Come on, get going around that corner, guys. Oh, yeah. So, and actually, you know what? We also have food now. We've got food for all our animals. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with the... We have the pig food supply there. I might as well keep it, I think. I don't think there's any point in me selling it. We're going to keep that for the time being. There's no reason to get rid of it. And the farm's kind of designed around it anyways. All right, here we are. Pig farming. Nice. So we've made a couple of updates to this. We've got so many eggs. Look at the wall of eggs we got back over on the left there. Anyways, uh, first things first. We've had to add a second tank to the uh, the auger silo here. We just ran out of space. It was filled up already with the corn. Yeah, we needed a bit more room in it, so we doubled that up, which was, well, okay. Um, the chickens have been going crazy. I need to, actually, looks like they're a little low on food as well. We do need to take care of that soon. Our piggies, piggies are doing well. Like I said, we're up well over 200 pigs. We started off with, what, 50? Oh man, so many pigs. I'm gonna back this thing up against that for now. You can see in the back there, there's a new building actually as well in behind the pig barn. Uh, I'll take you over there in a second. But that is, well, it's our root crop vegetable uh, storage area. So that's going to be where our beets are going. That's where we're, we're sticking that for now. Perfect. All right, let's get rid of Let's fill this thing right up. There we go. Boom. Confirm. All right. We have got... How many pigs we got here? 15, I think. 50 piggies. Five grand a piece. Not bad. Now, we'll have that replenished. I think they're up to, what, 45 minutes now we're getting a new pig. So, really, less than a day we're going to be replenished with this. I want to get up to 300. That's the max for this silo is 300. I want to get up to that and then... Just sell constantly, essentially. Sell till we're, we're good. Uh, here's our root crop storage. I do need to do a little bit of landscaping around here just to make it a little bit more, I don't know, easy to get around. You can see our offloading there. Unloading here. It does work, but uh, I do want to make it a bit nicer. Trade! Nice. Oh, let's uh, take this down. We're going to go sell these pigs, make our money quickly here. By the time we get back, I'm hoping we can be done with the, uh, the, beet, the beet harvest. Oh, I got a bunch of eggs to deal with too, but I got no way to deal with those yet. We'll do that later on though. All right, off to the cell. All right, bringing the pigs to market. Love it. Uh, so what do you guys think of this new Dodge? Do you guys like this one? I do like the look of this. I love the flat deck. I don't know. For a farm truck, I just feel I need to have a flatbed type truck. And this one fits the bill perfectly. Now, I'm not really partial for different types of trucks, perfectly honest. Um, I do own a Dodge right now. 
I turn? I think this is it. Yeah, that's the building right there. So I do own a uh, 1500 Dodge right now. It's got the Hemi in it. But uh, before that, uh, actually I owned a Dodge before that as well. But before that I owned a Ford. So I've owned both Fords, Dodges. I actually owned a Chevy for a little bit as well. It was a 2500 series. I think it was a mid-90s. What I remember, what I remember, it's been a while. Um, but I'm really not partial. It depends on different years for different trucks. Put that back door up here. Can I open that up? I think I can, can't I? Thought I could open that up. There it goes. Perfect. But uh, I do like this generation of Ram. I do like the uh, the overall look of it. And this is very similar to what I drive right now as far as looks go. Uh, but I do like that. Let's go take a look at our pigs back here now. Ah, piggy's all ready to go. Mm, bacon. Bacon! Uh, let's see here. Let these guys go. So, Wilson Ranch Hand Trailer. Sell, sell. 12 grand, confirm. Perfect. Only 12 grand. I thought we got like 5,000 per. How much would they buy? Oh, they're 1,500 each. That's it. Anyways, we could get more than that, to be honest. That's too bad. I'll close that door up. Yeah, it's a 6-7 Dodge. That's what it is. I knew it was a 6-7. I don't know where I got 6-8 in my head. But, like I said, I do like this one. The new Chevs are looking really good, too. Actually, we just had the uh, the auto show in town here. We went down and took a look at that. I took a look at all the different trucks that were there. The new Chevy tailgates, they make me uh, question a little bit of some of the stuff they got going on in them. I mean, the tailgate folds down into three different pieces. And you've got, like, a stereo that's inside. I, ah, man. For my uses, I put too much dirt, too much gravel in the box of my truck. Actually, the guy was making fun of me for that, because I said, well, what if you get gravel in the back of this, in the tailgate? What happens then? And his response was, well, you're not putting gravel in your Denali, are you? <laughs> I was like, well, it's a truck. What do you mean I'm not putting gravel in my Denali? Oh, man. Come on, man. Anyways. A nice looking truck, though. I do like the uh, the new Chevs, like I said. But the new Dodges with those big screens in the cab as well. Is, what does this have? This is the older style. But the new Dodges do have, like, a, I don't even know. It looks like a Tesla screen almost. I think it's an 18 inch screen or something along those lines in the middle of the cab between the seats. It's massive. In fact, you know what? I think I've got that mod loaded in game. Just take a look at that again one of these days. Anyways, let's go back out and see how they're making off with that beet harvest. They've almost got to be done by now. There can't be too much left to do over there. So we've got about, looks like, two or three passes left to go over on the sugar beets here. We've got the Western Star. It's doing pretty good. It's, uh, it's almost filled up, but look at this. It's a good thing we've got the all-wheel drive Western Star. <laughs> Come on. Oh, too funny. Get up there. See if I can unload this quickly into our rear. I think our rear bin's the only one that's covered. I think our front is full. Whoa! Wasn't expecting it to stop there. That's a bit close. Oh, I'm too far away. Yeah, too far away. So that's the one problem I find with this particular setup. You've got to be right up close for it to drop off. Oh, is that gonna back up? Come on, come on, get back there. No. Oh. <laughs> See what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah. But that height issue is not good. Let's see if we can spin this thing around and try that again. But it's just trying so hard to get some traction. Just grab. <laughs> There's no options for different tires or anything on this particular truck, so that's not going to work for us. But having it in the field probably isn't the best bet. Um, we should probably go with some kind of an auger wagon. That would probably work a little bit better. Oh, let off the grass. There we go. Let's see if this will work. I was not expecting him to, uh, to stop there. Ah, oh, see, look at that. It's too low. Let's see if we can just kind of finagle this in there. Yes. No. Okay, well we'll do it the uh we'll do it this way. How's that sound? I know this'll work. If I can drive it forward is gonna be the problem. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes that has to happen. Ah bad. Perfect. So like I said, he's got uh looks like two more passes, maybe three. 
I don't think I'm going to have enough room in my bins. I'm going to have to make a little trip back. I was hoping that uh, we'd be okay, but that's that's not going to happen. That's a negative Ghost Rider. See if I can get out of here now. Look at that. Because I was able to drop on the fly here last time. Let's see if I can actually do it again. There we go. Now it's working. That's what I was hoping to do right there. Fine, once it's moving, it's not as big of a deal. It does tend to allow it to go. But when you come to a standstill, for some reason, it just kind of gets stuck on the side of the bin. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> this truck is just struggling. All-wheel drive, Western Star. Oh, uh, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Wow, look at this, guys. 99% full. We couldn't have done that any better if we were trying. Um, that's like the perfect amount. <laughs> oh, but it's so heavy. This truck is really not designed to carry this much weight. Yeah, this is a lot of sugar beets. So we'll, we'll go back to the farm here. I'm going to try out our new, uh, our new storage container. Holy smokes, that's too fast. <laughs> she barely made that quarter. She barely made it. No trains, no trains, no trains, no trains. Perfect. Let's go, uh, let's go see how this is going to work with unloading. Perfect. Let's get into here. Uh, you know what? We're going to go around, I think, and try and back it in. I think that'll be the easiest way. I don't know. It's just so much weight that I have no real power to do anything or turn even for that matter. The front tires seem to want to leave the ground pretty easily. Sneak around here. Excellent, all right. And... Now, I don't know... I don't think we're ever going to need more. Holy smokes. <laughs> it's, it doesn't want to back up. Just get a bite. Come on. There we go. Yep. Um, I don't know if we're ever going to need any more root crop than this. In for the pigs, at least. We're going to have to really ma start pushing the pig program around here if we're going to have to use that many. Oh, come on. All right. There we go. We'll dump that first tank. <laughs> Is it going to let me back up further? Come on. Look at this truck. It's just a struggling. Okay, we got one done. Now, can I back up the other one as well? Is it going to let me back all the way up? Or do I have to disconnect? Come on. Get all the way back there. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Is this going to mess everything up? Ah, I didn't know if it was going to do it or not. <laughs> I was wondering if this would mess everything up or not. Yeah, don't do this, guys. <laughs> uh, we're just bridging. It's okay. Uh, it worked. I was wondering if that would happen. Cool. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us today. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, drop a like if you did. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already done so. And guys, if you, uh, if you have any questions or comments on today's video, make sure you leave a comment down below. Like I said, I read all the comments that come in, and I try to reply to most of them as well. So make sure you drop a comment if uh, you have any questions or just to say hi. All good. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us today. We've got some more work to do on our pigs, but I'll do that later on. Hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out.